This is going to be our third office in as many years. And uh, one of the things that we've learned in terms of hunting for office space, number one, you said not think too small, right? Yeah, don't think too small. Don't think too small. I mean, the office space that you're in right now, even though you can afford it today, you got to think about the future growth of your business. A recommendation would be just to get enough office space where it's a little bit more, eventually you grow into it and you don't want to be boxed in. When you do it, reach that growth. And what happens is right now we got to sublease one of our spaces uh, because we can't get out of it. We're signed a five year lease and because we have only 2,100 square feet, we couldn't grow from it. We're locked into it for another four years. So hopefully for us, we find a sublease still here pretty soon. The second lesson we learned is to make sure your landlord knows exactly what you're doing. Uh, for us, what type of noise you're gonna be making your office, what type of access, 24 hours, seven day week access you need. Be transparent, you know, and that, that comes into this is what we're looking for and this is the needs we have. You're factoring in future growth. The way we're expanding, we can expand in our current space without going through this again next year. You don't want to keep going bounce to bounce and next year spending money moving. The third thing, there's a difference between working with a, a guy that owns the building versus dealing with some real estate trust. We're dealing with corporate America and layers of bureaucracy. And the people that actually own the building are much more amenable to working with you in terms of growth, expansion, tearing down the walls, uh, 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 looking for new space with inside the building because they know you're a customer. Whereas, whereas a real estate trust, you know, listen, you're just a number. So those are three tips in terms of finding office space. So check out what we've been doing in the growth of our office. We've got four weeks to go before they officially build our office space. So let's check this out. Very exciting times here at the soon to be newly relocated and being refurbished and built up. Money Smart Movement Team headquarters here in Oak Brook uh, of PHP Agency. We're looking at all the different walls and new light fixtures that they're putting up. These, these are the new LED lights. Over there is gonna be training. Look at that, look how far, look how far down that is. Currently right now we're at 2,100 square feet and we're moving into a 5,200 square feet. Uh, this used to be two offices and then they knocked down that one wall. Uh, this is going to be the uh, executive office for moi, and that's going to be the Money Smart Movement studio right there. My desk is going to be right here, where I do interviews, coaching. But the other side here is where we do our podcasts, and our live streams, and our vlogs. We have multiple offices where we have here, boom, boom, boom. Uh, one conference room is already built, and it's already being refurbished. And uh, right behind me is where a new conference room is gonna be built. There's, there's gonna be one big conference room right here. You're ballin', baby. And right here's the reception area. There's Richard Love and my wife. So they're gonna walk in through there. Glass doors. Double glass. Glass doors. down here where our associates will be at training area another three offices private offices period collapse it can do it in a four-year period collapse it so you take your business to a whole different level so the point goes back to the fact that not only do most people don't believe they can do it more importantly few people are willing to do the work